Hey guys, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be talking about how to navigate public transportation here in Portland. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name's Alana. I post content about navigating life in Portland. So if you think about moving to Portland or visiting Portland, go ahead and subscribe down below because I think you'll really like it here. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. First things first, there are two apps you're going to want to download on your phone. The first one is the PDX bus app, which is where you can locate nearby stops or track them by route. What I really like about this app is that it will find stops located to where you are and then it will give you departing times. And then this is the Hop Fast Pass app, which is where you can use your reloadable hop card so you can add cash balance as you can see i have 14 dollars on my card and you can load value onto it and use this as a virtual card so you can pay your fare let's talk about the trimet systems which includes the bus line the max system the streetcar and even the wes commuter rail for the bus max and streetcar each ride fare will be two dollars and fifty cents for two and a half hours the day pass is five dollars and the monthly pass is a hundred dollars citizen fare is 125 and a day pass is 250 per day and then if they want a monthly pass it's 28 dollars and the same thing applies to the youth pass as well there are six different ways that you can pay the fare for these systems you can do contactless payment using your phone which could involve your virtual hop pass with the app you could use a debit or credit card but if you tap your hop card to a reader or a virtual card to a reader yes you can use your phone to tap it to the reader it's really awesome also with the ws commuter rail it only runs on weekdays and it basically runs from beaverton to wilsonville and there's five stops so these technically are outside of portland but if you do commute to these cities from portland this is another option that you can use and the prices are the same as all the other trimet fares A great way to get around the city is the Portland streetcar. I love taking this streetcar and there are three different lines. You have the A loop, the B loop, and the NS loop. So everything just goes in a circle. So even if you miss your stop, you could stay on it and ride it again because that's all it does. It goes in a circle. So it's a great method and I already covered over the prices, but it is $2.50 per bike. The MAX light rail system is probably the most commonly used public transportation method in the Portland metro area. There are five lines. There's the blue line, the red line, the orange line, the green line, and the yellow line. They can take you from Beaverton to Hillsborough to Gresham to the airport and to other suburbs side of the city or within the city in general. And all of the tap readers are outside of the stations so make sure you tap before you get on so this is a map of what the green line looks like and it is just a great way to get around the city in a short amount of time the biggest thing you really just need to know about the bus line is that there are over 80 lines and they can connect you to other methods of transportation and some even go into the suburbs and it is one of the easiest ways to get around the Portland metro area. Let's talk about the aerial tram because this is a really cool method of transportation. So it costs $5.65 per round trip and they don't offer one-way tickets and to be honest it doesn't really make sense to get a one-way ticket unless if you're coming from Markham Hill which is the top platform all the way down to South Portland waterfront area to basically end your trip there and move on with your day. Depending on where you go, I started off at South Waterfront and I went all the way up to the hospital at Markham Hill. And it is about a four minute trip 
and right now you still need to wear a mask on the tram because it is used for transportation to and from the hospital they do offer monthly and annual passes i do want to note that you cannot use a hop card here so you have to buy your tickets with the machine at the station and basically you do a touch screen and you can pay there and then basically you'll get a paper ticket that you will scan and it will let you on to the platform. Make sure you keep it to go back on your way down. It travels 3,300 feet up in the air. And like I said, there are two terminals. And also when you arrive to Markham Hill, make sure you check out the really cool overlook. It's definitely a cool thing to do with your kids. So I highly recommend you try out the aerial tram just for the experience. But it is going to be best for the employees who work at OHSU who need to get to and from different buildings so they will use the tram as their method of transportation. And then the last thing that I wanted to cover is the C-Tran bus which is technically Vancouver's bus line. However, this can be accessed with the hop card and there are fares that will vary but I do know it is one dollar per local ride and here is the table for you to see what the fares look like but this is one of the best ways to get to vancouver washington if you're coming from portland there are a couple of stops in portland there's one at the vanport max station jansen beach and there's a couple of stops downtown and up at markham hill it is not the most common source of public transportation but if you do not have a car in Portland and you do want to get to Vancouver, you could take the C-Train and the buses are a little bit nicer than the TriMed buses. So it's definitely a great option to keep in mind. So tell me, have you ever used Portland's public transportation system? Comment down below and let me know. And if you liked this video and you thought it was helpful, do make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.